right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are Real Time. Today, we are starting season two of Bridgerton. This is episode one, capital R, Rake. Pretty sure Rake has been used as like an insult. Mm -hmm. Or uh, they've, they've definitely said that word a lot. Yeah, and I feel, like, I feel like it's not been used in a, in a good way. Yeah, Simon but says I'm, he's a rake himself. I'm not 100% sure what that means. But yeah, last season ended. It had a pretty, cra a very crazy ending, actually. Like, there was a big time jump after all that stuff happened. And Daphne and Simon had a baby. So they had a child. And we got the reveal of Lady Whistledown. It is, in fact, Penelope, Penelope. Featherington. So that mystery has That's been wild. solved. And I'm pretty sure Eloise figured it out there at the end because she really thought it was madame de la Croix, but benedict had like an alibi for her that night she was at a party with him she wasn't the person in the carriage so i think l put two and two together and realized it was pen as we figured out it was pen so i don't know if she i thought i think she might still investigate i don't know if it is she knows i mean because there's still there's no really need for eloise if Penelope is she's the next one up to be courted yeah but this season is like we heard about Anthony so Eloise is gonna have a need of purpose this season I mean yeah she's I think she's gonna just be on like the dating market as well like she's fine what what did you say what's the word I forget like courting it's like the yeah. social season yeah. yeah I think she's gonna be a part of that finally I think early on though she's gonna be um because I think the main quoting I, this... I, f I feel like Eloise is actually going to be probably bigger in this season because I feel like Daphne's going to take a far like bigger backseat this season. I just feel like the love life part of this season is going to be Anthony and him yeah. trying to find his wife. For sure. The focus will probably... Yeah, I mean, like we've heard, it's going to be about Anthony. I mean, like what Daphne find her lover, Anthony find his lover... So let's see what happens. I'm really excited. I, I'm excited to see everyone. I mean, I still hope we see Simon and Daphne. I, de I definitely think we won't we won't get as much as them, um, of them. But uh, I hope we still get some of them for sure because they think things ended very well between those two. He's ready to have, they have kids. A they have a baby. They have a baby now. His name is going to be with an A. I'm really excited to figure out what name that is. Uh, that's what I've been looking forward to the most of this season. Wow, that's the most what uh -huh. their kid is. I am very excited. I'll, I'm very much looking forward to finding out who owns the Featherington estate. Yeah, now. that's like, also very intriguing. What, what is going on with that? Lord Featherington apparently died last episode at the end, uh, supposedly poisoned, we presume. Mm -hmm. But we found out that like he left it to someone, and whoever it was, Lady Featherington was very very shocked, and I don't think she was expecting that whatsoever and also the money is all gone yeah. so it's down it's it's very very bad for the featheringtons at the moment we're probably gonna know who killed lord featherington i think it was just those two dudes yeah. if anybody like yeah. the, the bookies i mean like the, i think they're gonna try to solve it like and see if, if they can come to conclusion but we can say goodbye to marina and hello to sex education girl we are really excited for that too yeah that's what i was gonna say like I'm, I'm excited to see her. I mean, obviously this season's about Anthony. I could easily see her being his love interest because Sienna's just gone. As a Viscountess. Sienna, like, she's <laughs> happy with that guy. She was. They had that very sad scene the night of the party. He's definitely, I'm pretty sure, just off the show. She has Probably. Her so Anthony needs a girl now, and I think he's really going to try to find one that he likes. And I don't know, it's just going to be really cool getting to see him actually look for someone and then like, be able to attend parties and stuff with her and hopefully be happy with her everyone hypes up this season way more than season one like when we started this show everyone was like oh my goodness i wish you could just get to season two already like i can't wait for season two so honestly i have pretty high expectations as of right now because i really really liked season one uh i thought it was super super good so you guys think this one's better? I, I'm I'm expecting great things, so I, I hope it 
lives up to the hype. All right, guys, but that's pretty much it before we get into this one. If you guys have been enjoying all of our Bridgerton reactions, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting very, very close to 100K subscribers, so if you have not hit that button yet, make sure to hit that. It helps us out a ton. Also, check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, and our social medias. Right at the very bottom is the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on our series mail time on the channel. But yeah, let's get into it. Season two, episode one of Bridgerton, capital R Rake. Let's go. Whoa. Daphne. Hello. She looks, Hello. Different. She looks older. Oh, they, wow, look, they older. look older for sure. How much time has passed? Look at Gregory. Anthony. Uh, Stand back. No offense, sister, but I believe you are the last person you'd like to see. Eloise. She looks the same. The Francesca. <laughs> she looks nice. Uh, I don't know about the headpiece. <laughs> yeah, that thing is crazy. I mean, that's what they all wear for, like, the when they have to go see the queen. That's what they're doing, like, the first episode of last season, I bet. Oh, yeah. yeah. When Daphne got oh, down yeah, the first like, water. Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy if back-to-back -back Bridgertons get it. You think she will return? We have heard nary a peep from Lady Whistledown since last season. Mm. Oh. Perhaps the writer came to her senses. Penn's been quiet. Nah, I think she's going to be back. I think we're going to get a Whistledown letter. The return of Lady Whistledown. What if she starts, like, talking shit on Elle about, like... Cause it's like her season. Mm, that'd be so messed up, dude. They're best friends. Or she could gas her up for all we know. Could not have appealed to the queen. And she uh, is lady whistle down. Whistle down. <laughs> Who is the new Lord Featherington? Simon. <laughs> what? Wait, there's a new one? Yeah, they said one new Lord Featherington something. <laughs> She's so she looks hot and bothered right now. Kindly to any hint of the sterics. I found a small smile worked best to appear open and approachable, but not too eager. Now let us see it. Oh no. <laughs> Simply locate a stationary object and keep your eyes set. I used a painting nearby. We practiced it several times. Eloise is gonna lose her shit, dude. She's so nervous. My task this season will be exceptionally difficult. He looks I handsome. Yeah, I like the sideburns gone. Or that beard or whatever you want to call it. It is not too late. You can say I collapse. <laughs> 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 Eloise <laughs> collapsed. She couldn't she couldn't do it. <laughs> but doesn't the queen also not like Elle because she couldn't figure out who whistled I think was? so, yeah. So like I think she has a little grudge against her. My Countess Bridgerton and Miss Eloise Bridgerton. Oh. She's gonna fold, bro. Oh no. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Eloise, oh god, please. Oh, oh, the whistle down is the first one back. So I bet I think she's going to get the whistle down as Elle's like doing her thing. Yeah. Right? Yep. That's only a coincidence. He's bringing her the whistle down. You think it's either going to gas up Elle or shit on her, I think. I've seen enough. What? Elle's so happy. <laughs> She's like, yes, I don't know what to do with this shit. Best of luck to you, brother. You shall suffer this season. <laughs> oh, you will need it this season, Anthony. This author was doing but one thing, honing my skills. Getting Getting better. Too, I see. Or should I say, hatching my plan? Uh, oh, does she get paid for it? Like I just said, oh, she increased her price. How do you think she does? Well, certainly not by herself. <laughs> How could she... Oh, this is how she got out. 18. We agreed on 20. My mistress changed her mind. You're new to this arrangement, so I'll say this only once. Turn an accent on. That doesn't make you special, Mr. Harris. Printers in this town are ten a penny. Bruh. There's only one lady whistle down. And the delivery boys need a wage increase. They're the ones running around town while you get to sit here on your lazy arse. Bro, Penn is wild, dude. I feel like I don't even know her. I know. <laughs> this author's identity and means seeking those answers. Wow. Oh, wow. She has been saving. She doesn't even need a dowry, bro. She's rich. I don't think she's very good. Oh, but if she can't hear you. I can't hear you. Has <laughs> anyone else aware that dear Colin has apparently decided to add Albania or some such place to his itinerary as he gads about the world? Wow. She's adding other places. 
I shall need to fill your coppers at the Modiste and oversee the hiring of a few extra staff. And your ring, when you get the chance, I shall need it. The Fields by Ferry Hallow. I was thinking that we... Oh... He needs the ring. Did someone catch your eye at the presentation, brother? Uh -oh. I thought all of the young ladies looked beautiful. Not particularly, and all the young ladies look the same, like the <laughs> ladies. I should simply like to be prepared for when the opportunity presents itself. The opportunity? He's ready to just propose on demand. Yeah, dude, he just wants to give it away to someone. Remember in the last season, he gave up love, and he just wants to fulfill his duty now? Yeah. Anthony, what are you up you to? You got names of women, bro. Oh, very much. I was just going on dates. What if, say, one of your daughters had a pawn shop for overspending? How would you deal with that? I feel like how Daphne, everybody wanted Daphne. I feel like all the girls probably do want Anthony Bridgerton. I feel like the Bridgertons are really well respected. Especially now that she's the Duchess. Yeah. yeah. Do you read? Book. Oh, nope, doesn't read. That's a deal breaker. Is a very specific Dude, pretty. itinerary. I feel like all these girls are just like auditioning for him. Wow. I sing, I dance, I can divide and multiply. Oh. I even construct my own house. <laughs> nope. None of them are the right match. I mean, I get why he was so picky now for Daphne at first. Like he, he's the same with himself. Yeah. They need to be perfect. Oh, he's uh, so much work going on right now. He's just blowing all of his money at the brothels. Who is that? Are you in trouble? I have a feeling. It is? I have a feeling in my belly. That it's? Simone Ashley. I hope so. And he's going to be like, wow, you're very impressive. <laughs> he's going to like her. You ride even better than me. This is how he finds his love, just riding in the field with a horse. Hey. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at him, he's like, wow, who is oh, this? I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun right now. Oh, right jump over, it. right over. Jump it. He can't do that. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, I think, I think he, he, I think he has a crush. Her. Love at first sight. <laughs> oh, oh yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Enjoying your victory lap. Whoa. But you'll not be afforded such an ample head start this time, I assure you. Did your maid know you were riding astride? I have no maid. Ah, oh, then you're married. Then you were lost. I am not lost either. <laughs> I'm on my way back to Mayfair. In the rare instances, it occurs. I have no difficulty in admitting that I've either lost or in the wrong, though I'm afraid the same cannot be said for you. I beg your pardon. Mayfair is not right ahead, but it's the other way entirely. Oh, is she lying? Not lost, he said. Uh-oh, is someone looking for her? Good day, sir. Look, seems like she's like on the run. Yeah. That is not possible, not what I have a victory lap to enjoy. Uh, uh, it'd be hard to act on a horse, bro. How's he gonna find her? Oh, what do you mean she was not in her room? Oh. We did find her after awakening, but she was not there. So. After all these years. She lives here. I think this is Simone Ashley's family. Yeah. Miss Edwina Sharma. Oh, a true pleasure, Lady. The Dunn. Sharma is their I'm last so name. I'm so grateful for your hospitality. Your home, it is magnificent. Consider it yours for the season. Oh, they're staying with Lady Danbury. That's cool. Yes, my eldest, Kate. Kate, Kate. Sharma. Kate. Kate Sharma. Well, Anthony and Kate. And destined to be. Apologies, Kate. There you are, dearest. I do hope I did not keep you waiting long. The gardens here are so lovely. Well, now that we are all arrived. Almost. I beg your pardon. We have almost all arrived. There is also new. T Brother. <laughs> oh, oh, puppy dog. I cannot tell you how eager the young ladies are for the upcoming season, as am I. I feel like Kate's yeah, really like. Oh, yeah, I feel like she's like very to herself, like not to herself, but she, she's kind of like L. That's what I was thinking too. So her Majesty will be in attendance then, at the ball. Well, there is no reason for concern, Lady Mary. You will be with me after all. 
Of course. Are they so worried? Do they know the queen or something? I'm not sure. It seems like they are a bit concerned about the queen being there. She will already be regarded as an old maid at the mature age of six and twenty. <laughs> but it should truly be of no concern, as I assure you, I'm not here to find a husband for myself. Does that mean 26? She's 26, <laughs> yeah. She's 26. <laughs> okay. She not only plays guitar, Murali, but pianoforte, too. And as for her dancing, well, it is quite remarkable if I do say so myself. And I do say so. They're going to try I. for her to get with Anthony, but it's going to be... Kate. You're going to want Kate. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Lady Landry. My sister and I do look forward to your sponsorship. This feels just so passive-aggressive from Kate. <laughs> Another quill. You do get through them at an extraordinary rate. I... I've been busy with my correspondence. In fairness, I've stopped reading his letters. He rambles, doesn't he? Not? You certainly know Lady Whistledown. No. I am. <laughs> yeah, move, that would be me. I sat with her paper all morning, and in truth, all she does is repeat what she hears. I must have bought the gossip. And does she not have a way with words? Yes, but what is she? Pen's gonna slip up. I did not mind what's around silence the last ten months, as it finally gave me some time to read a few articles of substance. <clears throat> My own sex, I hope, will excuse me if I treat them like rational creatures instead of flattering their fascinating graces. Wollstonecraft. Eloise is over whistle down, and Penn is not gonna like that. Would you like me to prepare some potatoes? I don't know, do this know. girl. Potatoes. Again. Why are we always eating potatoes? Because we don't have any money. We have come to London to find your husband, not mine. Yes, yes, you are but a dear old maid. Uh, who shall be perfectly happy doting on my many nieces and nephews one day soon. I shall spoil them exceedingly. You do know that. Until you fall in love with a particular she's the she's Anthony the, Bridgerton. She's the girl, Simon. I've heard this story before. Mama is doing that thing she always does when she is worried. The gossip she endured after marrying up I had to have been unbearable. Do you not think? Everyone will still have questions. About her family, about how you and I are related. We are sisters. It is not a man's appearance or title that will woo you. It is his mind and spirit that will court yours. He will speak in a manner that only your heart can hear. That is what you are looking for. I think she has a crush on the Anthony. <laughs> I don't even... She doesn't know who Anthony is. That she likes him. The first... Freaking party of the sea. Anthony's wow. gonna see her here. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna see, see her a lot. Kate. He's gonna see her a lot. The Marquis of Ashdown. A little young to be sure, but he has <laughs> Oh my. What about the Duke of Suffolk? According to Debrett, he should be quite the catch this year. The Duke flaunts his mistresses. I assure you, Miss Sharma, I have our prospects well in. Oh, we're butting heads with uh -oh. Lady Danbury? And may I present her daughters, Miss Sharma and Miss Edwina Sharma, my personal special guests for the season. A high honor in... There's a high honor. Quite a journey to join us again after all these years, Lady Mary. If only you had extended the courtesy of offering your queen a final farewell before you left. Ooh. Oh no, what happened? Here they are. They have arrived. <laughs> They always look the best. <laughs> they just they like look like us going into like one of our freaking parties that we always go to. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come sister. The cakes are these cakes surprisingly good. Oh no. Benedict's the best. I'm sure there is someone here who will charm you. After all, this is the season the Viscount intends to find a wife. <laughs> oh, make sure to say that extra loud. You honestly just did that. <laughs> I believe I did. Uh-oh. Is that Cressida? Every girl wants to become the Viscountess. Wow. Cressida. <laughs> Cressida is such a side character. Look, she's getting gossip right now. Oh, yeah. Maharaja, I would have understood. But the man was no more than a common worker who already had a child. That must be her. Mr. and Mrs. Finch. Oh, the Finches, okay. It is a delightful surprise to see you in attendance. After such a long mourning period, almost as long as our son has... It really makes sense that Little Finch came out of these guys. Have you come unaccompanied? Or has the new heir finally come to manage this unsettled business of your daughter's dowry? Ah, oh, oh, man. Unsettled. That is the precise word, Mr. Finch, because I too have been... Very unsettled indeed. My husband oh, is no. dead. My husband is dead. 
missing my dead, dead, very dead husband. Very dead. I told you it was Jimmy. You told me you wished for the boy to be out of the house. Our apologies. They don't want their kid living with them anymore. Number eight. I want the cape. Oh. Okay. The Viscount. I do not believe I've yet made an introduction. Of course. And from one of the town's most illustrious families. Oh. Oh, she's the little sister's gonna like him, but he likes Kate. He is very handsome. Yes. I suppose he is. Lord Corning. <laughs> <laughs> you like Lord Corning? <laughs> yeah. Lord Corning. Looks like a piece of corn on the cob. <laughs> it is unacceptable here for a lady to decline a dance with a gentleman unless she's already reserved by another. I see we have much. You gotta learn the etiquette here, Kate. Can't be disrespectful. And they say Millicent has a wealth in the country. Spitting image of his Is that? Penelope's uh, listening. <laughs> Listens to everyone. Apologies, gentlemen. I regret to inform you that my dance card is already full. <laughs> Those are good looking dudes. Lord Byron. Running to tell these names are false. I'm nearly. <laughs> she just wrote fake names on the card. Come. There is someone I would like you to meet. Who? Who? Ugh. Not not vibing with that girl. Uh uh. Kate has her eyes on Anthony though. You may be cavalier, but if I must leg shackle myself in marriage, the lady in question should have more to recommend her. Do not tell us you were hoping for a love man. Ooh. Children have to be of good stock, and their mother must be of impeccable quality. A pleasing face, an acceptable wit. Genteel man is enough to credit a Viscountess. It should not be so hard to find. Perhaps the Queen will finally name a diamond. Save you some trouble. At least of choosing her. Wooing the peace. Maybe Kate's like, I gotta be diamond now. Yeah, I can't tell if he like, doesn't like the way he's talking or not. I feel like compared to those guys, he was talking pretty uh, gentleman-like. Yeah, I just mean like the whole he doesn't care about love at all. Uh-oh. I can hear you. Oh. You. I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable. Oh. But you were eavesdropping. It was hardly an effort, seeing as you were proclaiming your many requirements for a wife. When you manage to find this paragon of virtue, whatever makes you think she will accept yours? Hmm. Truly so easily won by a pleasing smile and absolutely nothing. I mean, to be fair, his mom said one thing and they mm. all flocked over. Yeah. Is as deficient as your horsemanship. Ooh. I shall bid you good night. Challenge. <laughs> He's like, a, no woman has ever talked to me like that. <laughs> I love her. Is that the, yep. Yeah, the signal. Oh, now he's like Batman, bro. I have you to run off with. We shall never have to be alone. <laughs> Gotta go right now. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> I love Elle. Uh, Miss Sharma, allow me to introduce you. Charmed, my mama is already in our carriage. <laughs> we will see you at home. People are watching, my dear. You are clearly upset. What is clear is we are woefully unprepared to navigate this life. More desirable. It truly was a magnificent soiree, Lady Dan. Yeah, I feel like just Kate wants to leave. Yeah, she didn't get to deliver it. Uh oh. That make me so sad. I wanna know how much she makes. Probably a big box. She's sneaking out, bro. This ain't good. Last edition's taken yes. These kind of delays are sure to be more frequent out due to an unforeseen circumstance anyway, so it's really a bargain. She got ten pounds for that. I cannot be the only one wondering if this former capital R rake is indeed ready to flourish. For some reason, I think that rake means like a man whore, like a dude that sleeps around yeah. for some reason. Waiting for the queen to I like finally that. name her diamond. I shall not be hustled into making my selection. Uh -huh. Oh, she's saying if the queen doesn't make her choice soon, Whistledown will make the choice. Oh my god, uh, dude, not this kid. 
Fur book V2. Some more milk in this. Oh, are those marbles? <laughs> oh, fuck. I think I mean. That dude is a child. Lest his dry musings leave a young lady that finch. wilting like a yeah. parched rose. <laughs> it is rather clever the way she uses plant puns to belittle. <laughs> She's a big plant pun girl. Candlestick, see what they're worth. Yeah. We're selling off all this stuff in the house now. Lady Goring was quite taken with Eloise's dress last night, Madame Delacroix. Hey, hey, hey there she is. Extremely. Finally. You do know, Eloise, that you might enjoy the next ball if you in fact danced with someone. If you can meet people, it can be. I, I feel like Eloise is going to meet a boy that she likes. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, Madame Delacroix. I didn't know you were back in town. Hey. <laughs> Who else could dress these delicate debutantes for this season? <laughs> oh. And I shall see you later on tonight. I hear there's a party. I don't think she's interested. I have much work to do, Mr. Bridgerton. And my art must come before all else. And I reject it. Mm-hmm. Got curved. Huh. <laughs> That's sad. Are you in the mode east still, uh... Making a stitch. But well, apparently mm -hmm. not. Have you found a wife yet? <laughs> <laughs> Is mother aware? Aware of what? I'm oh. off to deal with our solicitor. I think Anthony's so funny. I like all the Bridgerton boys. You just laughed at something Benedict said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like Anthony's face, how he like reacts and stuff. He's so good. Get him on the channel, guys. Let's go. You will end up alone. Damn. With such expectations. Not wrong. She just wants what's best for her son. Uh oh, uh oh. Close it up. Bro, they're gonna end up being like, yeah, we can sell that carpet. <laughs> just find the floorboard. I will be perfectly putrefied if Philippa does manage to marry Finch. Petrified. Word is petrified. Mm. Putrefied. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? What is what? What you are writing. I'm not writing. This is what occupies your quiet time. What are you ladies doing, Spira? Oh no, are they about to find out? To Colin Bridgerton. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, that would explain the ink all over her fingers. I declare, Penelope. Colin is my friend. <laughs> As if he would ever waste his ink on someone like you. Oh my gosh, Prudence. You're a prude. That's probably why they made her name that. Something coming off. Oh. I don't think so, Mama. They're pawning off everything. You must stop wasting your precious time on such pointless pursuits as writing silly letters. Colin Bridgerton is no more your friend than I am the next. What are you talking about? They're definitely friends. Did Prudence just come into her room to fuck shit up and then leave? <laughs> is that literally all she did? Did you plan to write again tomorrow morning? She knows that she was writing. That goes on in my home. Correspondence. From your grandparents, the Sheffields. I wrote to them before you arrived. Those people are not my grandparents. It seems you have not been straightforward. Uh oh. With me. And what about failing to tell me why you have truly come to London with your sister? I'm rather more concerned about that. What is her real reason? I thought she was trying to help. Then tell me what stipulations the Sheffields have apparently set down with regard to Edwina's match. Stipulations which, if met, will, I am guessing, guarantee great fortune for you and your So the grandparents are saying that they'll pay a lot if they can get a good Edwina match for Edwina? An Englishman of nobility. But Kate's gonna marry an Englishman of nobility. Anthony Bridgerton. Yeah, they're gonna get married. Do they mean to interfere? It's how the Bridgerton seasons go. I recovered from my father's lack of rank and title. So let me assure you, Lady Danbury, I am not here for selfish reasons. If I could marry for the sake of my family, I would. But I am not my mama's daughter by birth. Edwina is. Oh, do they have different moms? I thought they had different dads. So maybe they have different moms. Teaching her twice as much and watching her work twice as hard as anyone else. I even taught her how to make this pitiful excuse for tea the English so adore. I despise English tea. 
<laughs> but if it means my sister will not be left destitute, then I will smile and I will nod politely after each and every sip to be sure. Oh, she's sacrificing a lot for her sister. Yeah. That is precisely why I shield her, because I know her. If she was made aware of the circumstances, she would marry quickly only to please us. She would say yes to any man kind enough to ask. Please, you must not tell us all. That's actually so crazy to, to keep that secret. It's actually it's such a good reason, I feel like. Formed under pressure, desired by Lady me, Whistledown. Yet oh. possessed only by a fortunate Diamonds. few. There is nothing on earth. She's going to be the diamond. Oh, 100%. The youngest one in particular, I think, will certainly make a match that will be the envy of the... Trying to pitch the Edwina to her. My strings being pulled, Lady Danbury. You said you wanted to shake up the season. Now's your chance. <laughs> Lady Danbury is so cool, bro. I feel like she's just so much smarter than everyone else. She's like the Dumbledore. Of this show. Such a shame your presentation at court was so rudely interrupted. Shame indeed. I nearly forgot you were making your debut with this. You can't even look at her. Uh, it, nope. is, it is a delightful form, Your Majesty. Very dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of an emerald person myself. Is one of emeralds. How thoughtful of you to know that. Well, it seems you have indeed come a long way since. <laughs> oh my god, how did this work out so well for Eloise? <laughs> that was luck. <laughs> I love it. Eloise Bridgerton. Oh. The diamond. Perhaps now you might Let's give Cressida a black eye. Flowers all evening and the final circle of friends. I may have made I would rather die. <laughs> I would rather die. Buzz off, Cressida. How did you do it on your own, Pen? Well, I don't share your difficulties, Hal. Insipid wallflower, remember? I was not. Oh, yeah, it was so much easier last season to be Lady Whistledown because Elle wasn't there to, like, yeah. occupy That's what her I was and saying. stuff. Yeah. She can't sneak off. What if they were, like, a team Whistledown? That'd be, cool. That'd be so cool. good. The wall even affords me a chance to hear what the footman say in secret. She's just letting her know that she. You have been keeping it from me. See, Susan hears everything. You should not have to pretend. Oh? You like. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. But it can be amusing. <laughs> I love Elle, but she's really bad at figuring out who's yeah. whistled out. <laughs> yeah. Every time I walk into a ballroom, I know they are comparing me to Daphne. She's so good at being the diamond, and it made my mother so happy. Daphne was good at being the diamond. Yeah, I mean, that was like. Her, her thing, and Eloise is just not the same. Diamond time. It's gonna be one of the Charmers or one of the Bridgertons. What, Benedict's gonna be the diamond? <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy. Allow it to now be my honor to present to you the season's diamond. What if it's Cressida? I, I, we'd stop watching the season. Miss Edwina Oh, okay, Edwina, baby. That's what we wanted. I'm happy with that. That was the goal. I just feel bad she doesn't know about, like, why they're pushing so hard for her. And that means Anthony's gonna go for the diamond. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, wow, I like her older sister. It's so, like, crazy how all these guys have seen her before, but now they're like, whoa. She's the diamond now? So much hotter. Have you yet met my new incomparable? I'm most grateful for the introduction, Your Majesty. I only hope I shall be afforded the pleasure of the dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you gotta do that. <laughs> the Queen is so good, dude. I love the Queen. She's the best facial expressions. Do you have any thoughts about children? <laughs> Other than the fact that I desire them so. However many I have, my lord, I shall feel misfortune together with my husband, real child. Mmm. Do you play any musical instruments, my child? A lot. <laughs> and she speaks many. like six languages. But modern languages, classical literature. I do love to read. Mmm. It's on the list. Oh. A man who knows what he wants is most admirable. 
I'm worried that she's gonna like Anthony and he's gonna like Kate. It's gonna be a weird love triangle. Me and my father died years ago. Oh. I'm so sorry. As did mine. Now they're bonding over the dead parent trauma. Oh my uh, goodness. It's a match made in heaven. Perhaps you could speak with my sister. Just her blessing we shall need if we are... Oh! Here she is now, Oh, Lord Bridgerton. <laughs> I see you've met Mr. Twin. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, no. I know your sister. Why can't Bridgerton... Oh, fuck. <laughs> they learn a thing or two from you, my lord. Would you join me in the retiring room, sister? I gotta go talk shit on this guy real quick. Something wrong, Bibi. You are not to go near that man. Do you understand? Oh, God. She is a lovely diamond, dearest. He's <laughs> he's looking at Kate. <laughs> there are a few things that must make you aware of. Color, clarity, carrot. Oh, this is drama. See, this is gonna be so weird because he she's like keeping her away from him, but she's gonna fall for him too. Like, oh, is this what all the stuff they're selling? This? Mom, he is here. Oh, new lord. Uh oh. Lady Morning. Best to work if we're not married. It's rather strange. I thought the air was. Hold up. But I'm terribly sorry for my late arrival. I made the trip from America. Literally, I'm Michael Sarah to be the I know, dude. That's the yeah. like, first thing I thought. <laughs> Call Michael Sarah. Just like you said, Laura, the new Lord Featherington is here to provide. It is about time I used these pages of record for something else. A shift. That's what Eloise was saying. Yeah. Being a diamond, not, well, rather ridiculous. Should a woman not be valued for so much more than her dancing skills or her comportment? Should we not value a woman in... Yeah, Edwina just got named Diamond and now Whistledown's like... Wow, we should name yeah. diamonds differently now. Like, like, does it really matter if you're the diamond? Like, perhaps if the queen abandoned this absurdity that is the diamond, we would all see that a woman can be so much more. <laughs> what is it? Your no one's the diamond. My diamond. It seems she will need to do more for me this season than simply sparkle. It's crazy pens influencing the queens so I know. much. I know. That was an awesome intro to the season. I love the Sharmas. I think they're both beautiful. Or actually the mom too. All three of them are beautiful. I think they're going to make this Anthony, Kate. It's going to... Like, I don't know. I kind of want Edwina to be with Anthony too. Like, Edwina seems awesome too. Yeah, she was really... She was like the perfect match when they were talking. I, the, I mean, he, he wants her. Like, I'm pretty sure... He, he doesn't really want Kate. Yeah. It's like, all those qualities were met by Edwina, not Kate. Yeah. So, like, maybe it's about, like, I feel like he may fall for Kate, though. Like, there's they're 100% setting up for a weird yeah. love triangle that's yeah. going to happen. For sure. I think it's going to be really good. I think it's. Anthony season has a lot uh, of in store. I think I think it could be a really juicer, juicy season. Yeah. For sure. I wanted to say, I actually. Am, it's really refreshing to not have any Penelope or, or Simon. We had a little bit of Daphne. Or, sorry, sorry, not Penelope. Daphne. We had mm -hmm. a little bit of Daphne at the beginning, like literally. I think that was the best. Bit. Like that was a perfect amount. Like, yeah. We got to see her, see that she's still around, and then she and then realized she's not back. the main character anymore. Yep. And yep. You think we'll even see Simon? I was just gonna say that I would not be surprised if he just does not make an appearance. I feel like they have like their a whole life going on separate, but. I do want to see that baby. I want yeah, to see that for baby. For sure. We'll we'll get to see Simon. I'm yeah, sure, I'm hoping sure. that we get to see both of them. I think the finale, of course, being will be Colin coming back because season three is going to be Colin. I think that's what's going to happen. But uh, we met the new the new Featherington uh, Lord, if you will, the Lord of the house. He seems to be uh, younger and more attractive than we all thought. But he has all of his gear in the house. He has taken over the rooms and he's ready. I wonder if Lady Featherington's gonna start getting it on with this dude. I don't know. He's a good looking guy. Definitely for sure. Would say better than Cousin. Or cousin, I'm pretty sure, huh? Of them? Or yeah. Lord Featherington. I mean. Maybe it's Lord Featherington's cousin. 
Yeah, I think that's how it might be. Wouldn't it make them like the second cousin or whatever? I don't know. Not if he's I dead. Don't know. Pretty sure your parents' cousins are your second cousins. I see. Yeah, like we thought though, it's Elle's turn. She is the one that is going to be courting or taking part in the social season and I mean she I feel bad she had a lot to live up to like Daphne like she was saying there it's set, set such a high bar like mm -hmm. she was the diamond you can't get any better than that mm -hmm. so like and Daphne like wanted to be the diamond like that was her goal that was what she dreamed of she was a very good diamond mm -hmm. so now people compare Elle to her yeah it's totally not fair but luckily she did not get the diamond I don't think she wanted to be it so I feel like the queen's about to get rid of the diamond like I feel like she was definitely influenced by that yeah whistle down update and she might revoke the status she I don't wants know. she wants the diamond to upgrade I think I think she wants it, uh, Edwina to prove whistle down wrong it is honestly a pretty silly concept it's just like the only like if the queen says that this girl is the best then and she's the best like there's that's pretty much the only determining factor i don't even think she thought edwina was the best she just picked her to shake things up yeah because she was kind of swayed by lady danbury i think however edwina actually might be the best yeah i think yeah, she is i think she is as well i think it was a good choice i was a little i still don't really understand what the whole like situation with the sharma family like happened like they left and then came back and there was like a big like issue with that and then they were saying that like remember the one scene where the sisters she was like i am your sister like never forget that like we are sisters so that made me think like one one of they don't share 100 percent the same parents yeah. like one parent is different and i thought it was the different dads at first but now i'm pretty sure that they had the same dad and the dad died and they have different moms that's what I think. But I'm not 100% sure. It was kind of hard for me to understand. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll get more clarity that here soon. I think Anthony is going to uh, break up. This, like, not break up. He's going like, to cause issues. He's going to damper the bond between Edwina and Kate for sure. Yeah, because Edwina like, seemed really into him. And then just immediately was told, no, you, you cannot talk to this man. Mm -hmm. This dude's bad and then, news. Can you imagine, like, you're like, oh, I'm interested in this guy, and your sister's like, no, you can't get with him, and then your sister starts to like him? Like, that's definitely what's about to happen, so. I feel like if Edwina heard what Anthony said, though, he she wouldn't have really cared. I think that was Kate. Just... She, Kate just wants what's best for her yeah. sister, and Edwina wants what's best for her family, and she knows that that involves marrying a well-respected gentleman, and I think she she's down to do whatever to get that done be the Viscountess. but i'm pretty sure she's i'm not sure though because i think she's unaware of like the oh she know. doesn't know about the secret i'm just saying i think that she's just that kind of person well like she just cares about her family yeah potentially but their whole goal right now the mom and kate is to have her marry for love and not be influenced by this like mm -hmm. i think I think it's like a dowry they're offering right like the the sheffields their grandparents or whatever i think it's I think it's Edwina's grandparents because Kate kept saying she had no relation to them at all. Yep. So maybe it's uh, Miss Sharma's parents or Lady something. Lady Mary. Yeah, Lady Mary, her parents or something. Yeah, I think that the whole thing was that if she marries a, a well-respected well Englishman, then they will give her a hefty mm -hmm. dowry, and if not, like if not, then they don't get a dowry. And that's the only reason that they came back. I'm really curious to know like why they left and potentially learn like how the father died or whatever because that seems like a big event that happened. Side note though, little thing, I've only ever seen Simone Ashley in Sex Education before. It's the only show or type of media I've ever seen her in and she, I feel like she has a pretty minor role in that show. It's not super important but seeing her in, in this, in, even just one episode, like he is really, really good, dude. I, I was I was a big fan of just like her performance and everything. She really, really knows her, what she's doing. She'll definitely catch her eye when we watch Sex Ed again. She yeah, not, now that, yeah, she's I not she... in the next season, I don't oh, think. Oh, yeah, they, I think they did say that, yeah. That's a bummer. She will not catch her eye. I hope that she gets more like big roles like this because, For I sure. mean, if with one episode, I really, really liked her performance and her character seems really interesting already.
All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for season two, episode one of Bridgerton. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. The first one's the Patreon. We have the uncut reactions to all these episodes up on there, as well as early access to future Bridgerton episodes, so check that out. Second link's the Discord. Come join that. Talk to us about Bridgerton or anything in there. We got a really, really cool community. Lastly, follow our social medias down there. We got our Instagrams and our Twitters, and at the very bottom of the description is the address to our P.O. box. Send us something for our series, Mail Time on the channel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll catch you guys next time for season two, episode two of Bridgerton. Peace out.